Hi, I'm Mike with Robotic Solutions. In this video, we're going to cover the process of mastering your KUKA robot. You won't have to do this process very often. In fact, after your robot's been installed, you'll only need to do this mastering process when there's something wrong with the robot or it's requesting to be remastered. The first thing you're going to want to do is exit any running programs and put the robot into T1 mode. At this point, we're going to be mastering the accesses one at a time and you'll find the locations on each of the axes where it's indicated by a silver mastering port. By each of the mastering ports, you're going to see a white marking on the robot itself. You'll want to align the axis by driving the robot as close as you can to those white markings. When you're lining up these markings, please remember to leave a little room on the positive side of the axis. When the robot is mastering itself, it moves from positive to negative. So you want to remember, keep a plus on the positive. At this point, you're going to want to remove the electronic mastering tool from your toolkit. For the rest of the video, I'll be referring to this as the EMT. You're also going to need the data cable that's included with it. The first step we're going to do is actually go to the base of the robot and find port X32. You're going to unscrew the cap and attach the data cable so we can communicate with the robot. The next step is going to be unscrewing the cap off of Axis 1's mastering port. Insert the EMT and connect the data cable. Please remember, never drive the robot while the EMT is inserted in any access port. It can damage the EMT and cause inaccurate results. On the pendant, you will then go to Setup, Master, EMT, Standard, and then Set Mastering. From there, Axis 1 should be selected. You hold the dead man switch, select master from the bottom row of options, and then select the cycle start button. You'll continue to hold down the button until the axis is fully calibrated. You'll then continue on to the next axis, going one by one until the robot's fully calibrated. Right now we're going to skip ahead to one of the later axis so we can show you the full process with better visibility. Again, you start by removing the cap on the mastering port and attaching the EMT with the cable. You know the cable is plugged in when one of the two green lights is activated. You then go over to the pendant, select master, and hold down the dead man switch while holding the cycle start button. You will continue to hold the button until the calibration is complete. One other small tip I want to give you is about the Access 5 mastering port. You'll see a mastering port by A5 on the robot itself which stands for Axis 5, but that's actually the port for Axis 6. The mastering port for Axis 5 is located on the side of the arm, usually underneath an orange screw or underneath the panel itself depending on which robot you have. You would uncover the port and insert the EMT like you would any other access. Once you have finished mastering the robot, you may have an external access which may be your turntable or your linear rail. You'll repeat the mastering process for each of these devices just as you would with the robot, lining them up and putting the EMT into the mastering port. I hope you found this video to be a helpful refresher on the KUKA mastering process. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us or get more information on roboticsolutionsinc.com.